So Tyler, it's been a long time since we were standing in a bean field last summer talking about weed control. We've got snow on the ground, but guys are probably thinking about weed control in their soybeans right now. What, uh, what kind of conversation do you start off with? Well, now uh, we have two platforms. We have the Extend and the Enlist. So, you know, I just, I really want to caution guys to not look at those those two products and think that's my only my only direction and those are the only products that I need to be using uh, to keep my fields clean. So I'm Tim Mundorf. This is your Agronomy Focus video and I'm here with Tyler Statsny at our Ulysses, Nebraska location. We're here to talk about soybean pre-emerge herbicides. So Tyler, you know, you get a guy in here and, and we always talk about, you know, start and clean, stay and clean. You know, we've got new technologies we can use 2,4-D in beans, we can use dicamba in soybeans, but we don't want to rely just on that. We want a good all-around program. The guy who's got some problems, where do you start to, to try to get him clean and keep him clean at least till we can get to post? Yeah, absolutely, Tim. So, um, so I'm going to highlight a few products from FMC, a couple products there um, from Valent and then also BASF. Um, I always want to incorporate those pre's with my burn down. Um, and, and I just want to start clean. So from BASF, we have Zidua Pro. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to attain some Sharpen, some Pursuit, and that Zidua. So, mm -hmm. you know, I keep talking these residual products, but that's what's so important to keep, keep these fields clean. And then we go into the FMC, we have Sulfentrazone. So these are PPOs, okay? Um, Sulfentrazone, um, and then the, the Authority Supreme, okay, is gonna be that Sulfentrazone and the Zidua, mm -hmm. all right? So then on the other side, we have Valent, okay? So, but they're gonna use Valor mm -hmm. and then Zidua, the pyrosulfuron, yeah. okay? So that's gonna be Fierce, mm -hmm. all right? And then if we go back to FMC, um, we can touch base on Sulfentrazone and Elite. Mm -hmm. So you can see that they're just mixing these PPOs with different residual products from yep. Group 15s. Um, but you know, those are probably the main products that, that I focus on um, because I have a lot of success with them. And, and, and every grower that I talk to um, is, is very happy at the end of the year. Right? So, And as we think a little bit about that, that post program, are you thinking another residual in there in post? Or usually if you've got things pretty clean and you've gotten closer to canopy, you come back with more of that, you know, Roundup dicamba, maybe some select, and that's really about all you're gonna need? Or are you still thinking about residual then? You know, absolutely. I mean, this weed pressure, it's just yep. intense. And so I, I just, every time, I know it's additional cost, um, but you know, you get one palmer out there, or one water hemp. I mean, you know, now you're talking hundreds of thousands of seeds um, for that next year. And so if we can just continue to add, you know, even the Zidua then, and, and if we can mix those modes. So, you know, maybe maybe you use some s metallochlor in an Authority Elite yep. pre. Yep. Now maybe post when you're doing that extend or that enlist, maybe we're thinking about the Zidua now, or yep. maybe, you know, or maybe we're looking at the Outlook, yep. or um, you know, just trying to get a different mode in there as well, right. so. If we can keep those weeds from germinating or kill them right as they germinate, that's the best way to do it. When we see them, we've already started having some problems. If we can kill them before we actually see them, that's one of the best things we can do. It's about their most sensitive time. It's the easiest to kill a weed right then. You know, um, spray spray clean dirt um, yeah. because it, it's coming. It's coming, and and, and for 21, 28 days after after our pre, I mean, you know, we're we're not seeing anything yet, but. But the idea is, is, is we can keep that field clean. And so that's what's important. Very good. Well, thank you, Tyler. And thank you for joining us for Agronomy Focus with Tyler Statsny here in Ulysses, Nebraska. I'm Tim Mundorf.